Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and yesterday I put together a little video to talk about a normal INS alignment in the Viper, in particular how you need to uh, confirm your lat and long coordinates. Uh, but in the process I had a my call the moment in which I said something incorrect about the uh, stored heading alignment. So I want to make a quick little video to correct that and talk a little bit more about a stored heading alignment. So let's get the aircraft started first. And you generally use a uh, stored uh, alignment if the uh, aircraft hasn't moved since it was last shut down uh, or if the jet was already aligned uh, before you took the cockpit. And of course the primary advantage of a stored alignment is it's going to be a much faster process than a normal alignment. So now we'll go to a stored heading. And again, up on the uh, uh, DED, on the INS page, we have our lat and long. And unlike a normal alignment, we do not have to confirm the coordinates, again, because uh, it already has the information from the uh, last time it flew, or it was already uh, set up with the alignment ahead of hand. And then unlike a normal alignment, where we'll generally wait for this to go down to 6 for full alignment. In this case we'll wait till it goes to 10. And when you're aligned you want to make sure that you are not uh, uh, rearming the aircraft as that will throw off your alignment. And before, again, we can see our steer point is here in the center and there's no tadpole, uh, which are good indications that it's not aligned yet. And you can see already down to 20. Okay, it's a lot faster. So we have a, a blinking ready, blinking aligned. Now we'll rotate the switch to nav. And we can see our steer point and our tadpole are up on the HUD and we have correct alignment. And you can see this is a much faster process. Anyhow, I hope this uh, helped and I'll see you next time. Thanks.